Hi everybody, it's Maureen Wong. Uh, you may have watched my any one of or all of my three Hobonichi unboxing videos and I bought a bunch of Hobonichis, pretty much one in every size, and I was really unsure in the videos what I was going to do with all of them and this was back in you know, I forget when in 2018. Now that it's we're into 2019, I've actually figured out what I'm using each one of them for. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of what I'm using each one for, and then I'll go into detail showing you how I set up my cousin. So this is the A6, and it's the English version, and this is my daily art journal. Um, I belong to a group on Facebook where we have daily prompts and so I've been following along with those. Unfortunately I'm already behind um, but this is going to be, hopefully I will be journaling in it. Um, I'll have a picture art journal entry once a day for the whole year. Uh, then I have my weeks and I got the Rilakkuma special edition just because I love Rilakkuma and I've been using it for all my fountain pen related stuff like I've been doing testing of inks every day and um, this pencil board I made I just printed out some art from the internet and then laminated it and then I have um, I've been keeping track of some of my inks and pens back here. Then this is my five year and it's in this super beautiful cover from JT King on Etsy. Um, what I'm using my five year for is my sort of deeper thoughts, I guess you can call it, where it's sort of what's going on in my head at the uh, during the day, uh, what I'm kind of stressing or obsessing about by the end of the day. Things that I really don't want to share, so you're not going to see inside of this Hobonichi. Um, and then I have the weekly calendar, and what I've been using this for is an index of the entries in here, because um, if you look at it, it has all this space for each day, and it has a perfect number of grids. It has 21 lines, so you can give each year, not 21, 35, oh my goodness, it has 35 lines, and so you can give seven spaces for each year, and you'll fit all five years, and then I just put little keywords in each day to remind me what was going on that day so that if I ever want to find something again, I don't have to search all through the whole Hobonichi. I can just search through the, the index. And then finally, this is my cousin. And I was thinking about taking my cousin apart and putting it in rings. And I went back and forth a lot before 2019 started, and then right before 2019, I decided to go for it. So this is um, my Hobonichi cousin in rings, and by the way, this cover is from Snow Journal cover on Etsy, and um, she actually did this custom for me. I wanted it for my five year originally, so I asked her to make it a lot wider to accommodate the five year, but then I got my leather cover for the five years, so I was left with this, and then I wanted to put rings in it, so I added the rings myself. You can see the, the back end of the screws here. I got the uh, A5 rings. It's a really small ring, but I wanted it kind of small. I like that it's small because then it won't get um, too heavy because I won't put too much stuff in it but I just added the rings myself and because it's the cover is bigger than an actual A5 cover it all fits so it has some nice pockets this is actually I think modeled after the Hobonichi covers so it has pockets in the front and back it has this big pocket the little pockets it has the two pen loops to hold it shut and then of course it has the more pockets in the back and a big pocket here. So anyway, what I did was I just pulled off the spine from the Hobonichi and then I used an X-Acto knife 
to cut apart all the strings holding the signatures together and then I got my paper trimmer and trimmed them all in half so they're all single pages. On the cover here I have some sticky notes um, and then inside the cover I have some more sticky notes and then I have some inspirational kind of things in here. This one is from Once More With Love and then this was my supposed word of the year um, from, oh, I forget what site that is, but this is it in kanji and then my word is flash and I decorated a little bit of my front page and then the calendars. I haven't started using the index yet because I'm not sure what to do with that, um, but I did go ahead and went all in decorating my monthly spread so far. Here we are in January and I've already gone ahead to February. And then in my weeklies, uh, I'm using a lot of that space for decorating, but then I'm also keeping track of um, other things. Like I have my trackers here and then I have I keep track of my weight in the weekly so that it's easy to see at a glance what my changes are from day to day and from the beginning to the end of the week. I was putting menu and my coffee trackers here but then I stopped because I figured I didn't actually need it in two places because I do my menu tracking and my coffee tracking in the dailies. So I've gone ahead, this is this week. Uh, I made these dividers using a planner press digi kit and then I added on these sticky pockets from Simply Gilded Subbox and added in some more little sticky notes. And so that's my weekly view. You can see it's really highly decorated because I don't use this for that much stuff. I might put appointments in here uh, but mainly it's for my tracker, my weight tracker, and then just big event type things like doctor's appointments or parties or whatnot. And then onto my dailies, I actually made myself a day for December 31st. And you can see I try to fill up my pages because I just like the way that looks. Um, so yeah, I, I pretty much try to fill up every space. And if I don't have anything to write in there, then I'll maybe do some lettering. I'm practicing um, brush lettering. So I'm working on that. I'll put decorative stickers or things like that. These are, this is a die cut. This is a die cut. And then a bunch of stickers. And I'm actually using a lot of washi tape. Um, I'm trying to use up sticker kits because I have a ton of sticker kits that I've never used. And now I'm trying to actually make use of them. So you can see my dailies are really filled up. And then when I don't have anything to write, I put in, you know, a deco box or something. And then use a lot of washi. So basically what this is, is for my dailies, I keep track of everything I eat, how much coffee I drink. I have my to-do list. I have my wacky holidays up here. Um, if I have happy mail, what basically went on during the day. If it starts getting into something where it's what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling and stuff that I don't want to share, instead of putting it in the cousin, I'll put it in my five year. So I'll put like basic details about what happened, but when we get more to my feelings about stuff, then that's in my five year. And see here, I put some decorative washi tape and I'm practicing my brush lettering, a lot of decorative washi tape. Um, I put, uh, I'm trying to incorporate more ephemera because I like the way that looks too. So this was a raffle ticket that I had. This is a piece of packaging from Fountain Pen that I ordered. And then um, here's some more brush lettering practice. But basically that's it. My layout is sort of the same every day. And I'll show you one of my blank. Here's a blank. This is what it looks like before the pen. I just have my to-do list, uh, my coffee tracker, my meals are all set up and I have them broken down by actual meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. And that's all I put to begin with. Oh, and I decorate, you know, with washi, date covers, uh, wacky holidays. Oh wait, the wacky holidays are in the weekly. Um, but I do this much pre-decorating, I guess, 
and that's it. And the whole rest of it will get filled up during the day as I do things or, you know, um, things come up, then I'll write them down and end up filling it up like this. And then in the back, um, I have a spending tracker. This is, this was a free download from Van Sticky. And I printed out a bunch of pages so that I can keep track of what I buy and have it all in one place instead of, you know, in my weekly or dailies where I have to actually look for it. Uh, this is a page lifter I made out of a clear, um, with holographic stars, jelly sheet. And I actually laminated the jelly sheet with 5 mil laminating film and it came out this nice and stiff and then I have some stickers back here and there you go that's my cousin in rings and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and thanks very much for watching I'll see you later